up, y'all? My name is Raven Mack. This is Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Slam. I usually talk at y'all a little bit before we start, and then we have a haiku slam. What is Southern Gothic Futurism? Who is Raven Mack? I don't know. Y'all have been here before, heard that before. But I'm going to be honest with you right now. I don't really feel like talking. I don't feel good. I feel angry, frustrated, mad about life. Because not really nothing in particular, but you know... I got stressors from other people that I can't control them at all, and they cause great fucking stress in my life. I'm fucking broke. The walls are closing in. They're getting tighter and tighter. And I'm starting to want to choose violence because I come from poor stock. I come from white trash bloodline. And I have to fight that at all times because I want to choose violence. I want to burn bridges, and I want to beat faces. That's what I want to do, but I can't do that because that's not healthy. That's not healthy for others. It's not healthy for me. So I have to work constantly to let go of that. And that's part of why I do these damn things because when I started writing haiku, I was a shitty house painter working on ladders with a bunch of crazy ass people. So I wrote haiku because I could keep note cards in my pocket and just write them down. And it helped me unwind a lot of that tension. The tension is winding up again. One of the big issues is every now and then, I'm in a good place. I got a good job. I got a college degree, first generation college student. Live in a house that I'm paying a mortgage on that I can afford because I had to move out of Charlottesville because rent got too damn high. But nonetheless, I landed in a house. I got it good, but it's precarious. I come from white trash stock. But because I am a white man, I can get a nice shirt at the Goodwill, I can button it up, tuck it in, and when I go in to talk to people, they don't see some crazy ass white boy from the country, they say, oh look, fine upstanding white male. He can come in, we can trust him, because the whole system's fucked up like that, you know? So I am privileged in the fact that I am fairly comfortable compared to what it could have been like, compared to a lot of people I grew up around. But the fucking, all that shit is still in me. And it makes me crazy. And I don't know how to unleash it a lot of times. The world wants to be clean, expensive, and all in order in a way that I don't feel comfortable or even like. It makes me feel angry. And I don't know what to do. I feel it here. I lived in Richmond from 1991 till 2000. I come to this town now. I don't recognize this fucking place. How can y'all afford to even be alive in this city? It's crazy. But I have to let it out. So I write every time I can my little thoughts. I don't have space to write a fucking novel. I don't have the brain to write a novel. My brain is too fucking broken, fractured, beaten by things. And I, ain't, I don't even want to say the word, but it's not even trauma, but just cuts. Little cuts all on my psyche. I can't organize my thoughts to write a damn novel. Shit, you can sit me down for five years and say, Raven, you don't got to do nothing but write. That's all you got to do. Write the greatest story you got. I could not write a damn novel if you gave me all that because my brain ain't right for it. Can't do it. So I write these little thoughts, <coughs> take my little pictures, <clears throat> do my little poems on these litter bottles I find, and I do what I can. That's what I do. And it helps. It helps keep me from choosing violence. Because I don't need to choose violence. No, none of us need to choose violence, I think. How y'all doing? Y'all come on in. I'm raving. I'm just talking. Thank y'all for coming. At the same time, something else I've been thinking a lot about. Because you got these people that love to look at them old ass documents and say, these old ass documents these people wrote is the thing we got to live by. But one thing they always forget when they talk about life, liberty, yeah, whatever, y'all, let's skip them. Pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. We all sitting in here feeling like the walls is closing in, we can't afford to be alive, and all we want to do is have some damn joy and be happy. And don't nobody want to let us do that. Don't nobody want us to laugh together and have fun together. Or if they do want us to do it, they put a price tag on it where half of us can't afford to go, and the half that can't afford to go was the most fun ones that was going to be there anyways. Pursuit of happiness. So, 
somewhere in all that life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, when people was thinking about rights and rights and rights and rights, not the old school natural rights that's done existed since the dawn of time, but the rights that they decided to write into a constitution, it got perverted into individual rights. The individual right to be comfortable, the individual right to have some money, the individual right to have a good life. So I'm here to say, fuck that. I want collective rights. I want everybody to have that right. I want everybody to be able to pursue their happiness. So when I say I do these little exercises to not choose violence, I just want to put a little asterisk beside it. Because at some point, we might all have to stand around together and decide, you know what, we don't really want to choose violence, but we might have to choose a type of violence just for a little while just to get these assholes off our back. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I've been feeling. So I thank y'all for coming to the Haiku Slam because writing Haiku helps me exercise all these thoughts and not choose violence because I don't want to choose violence. I hope that don't sound scary to none of y'all because I'm coming from a heartfelt place and I am a very loving man and I got big bright dimples behind this mask that I love to show off anytime I can. All right, haiku slam, how does it work? First of all, people write haiku in their own worlds, with their own stresses, in their own pleasures, in their own habits and loves and joys and pains, and they write them in their world. And then they all come here together, like Voltron, except for a whole bunch more of us. And they got their words from their lives, and they sign up on this sheet. And then I call them up here. And we got a rainbow flag and an infinity flag. And the rainbow flags will read a haiku first. And the infinity flags will read second. I got three judges. Y'all are going to hold a flag up for whichever one you choose out of those two haiku. You can judge it by its literary merit, how wonderful you think it is. You thought it was funny. You loved the way the person delivered it. There is no specific rule for how you judge other than what feels right. Go with what feels right to you. Also, there's three of you, so two out of three flags decides who wins the round. So it's not on any one of you, because you're a collective of judges, you see? So it's not any individual's fault. It's a collective. I like that. <laughs> Whoever loses goes first the next round, and we repeat that until we hit a certain number. That person advances on, until we get down to the final two. Now because of a sponsorship from a nonprofit based in Charlottesville called Joy Menagerie, you wanna tell people what Joy Menagerie is? Or you want me to tell? You tell it. Joy Menagerie is a nonprofit based in Charlottesville, Virginia that my partner Dolly has kinda of helped organize with a group of people she's worked with. It's multi-generations, diverse background, and when I say diverse, I hate that fucking word. Because you see so many people throw that word out. And it's like forced. Like, you know, like, I'm a white guy, as I said. But if you are a black person in certain spaces, somebody's always going to show up with a fucking camera to take a picture of you with a bunch of white people to say, look at our diversity. <laughs> it ain't diverse like that. It's a bunch of people who show up together, hang out, help, and mentor. I would say it's a mentoring program to give people from different backgrounds, access to mentoring and opportunities with elders in their, their community that people normally get through family connections. So it's like a family, it's very much like a family. <coughs> in fact, I utilize it too. I'm 50 years old, but I gotta learn some damn fucking reporting shit for my job. But there's a brilliant older black woman that's part of the crew and she is going to sit me down and teach me this shit. And I'm thick. I am hard-headed. I do not want to learn this. But she's a great teacher. Kind of. She's also kind of surly. <laughs> but we're going to try to figure it out. Between the two of us, we're going to figure it out. So because of Joy Menagerie, I got $100 here for competitors in this haiku slam. Those of y'all that showed up late, did y'all know this was a haiku slam? Did y'all bring any haiku to compete? Y'all just watching? Just watching. Just, just watching? Inside. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. So we're going to do two people. Each side, and we got eight people tonight, maybe nine, because my champion who's supposed to defend her bottle has not shown up, but she's notoriously late. 
And I have not gotten the text back from her, but we're going to put Dustin, who is going to challenge her, last on the agenda in case she don't show up. We're going to go ahead and start, though, and I'm going to call up on the rainbow side, longtime Richmond competitor, very fun person, somebody I love dearly. Y'all give it up for Trisha McDaniel. And coming up on the infinity side, all the way from Charlottesville, who has competed in a lot of these, y'all give it up for Zoe. I was feeling a little crazy, so I keep yarrow on me. A little yarrow mist in the sky kind of cleanse you a little bit. I started to get that little tight chest, you know what I'm saying? I was talking about my stress too much, so I got it out. All right, Rainbow goes first. Let's see, we got eight people. Let's do best of three for the first round. That work for y'all? Oh, you know what? Let's do best of five for the first round. All right. <laughs> Thanks for that. A little treat. All right, am I going? Am I going? Yep, there? Rainbow All goes right. before Infinity. Multi talented meets overworked. There you'll find Trisha McDaniel. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, today I came prepared, but I did write this haiku just for you. Judges. <laughs> And Trisha took the first round, up one to nothing. Now, judges, one piece of information I did not tell you, I'm just going to tell you now before I think about it later. Really, the only mistake you can make as a judge is if it is an especially intense pair of haiku and nobody knows who to pick and both the other judges put different flags up and you're still sitting there thinking and then the whole room is going to look at you to see what you pick. <laughs> so that's really the only, only mistake you can slip up as a judge. So you get to go first down one nothing, going to three. I put my skirt on today. Behind the curtain, there's a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha. Write haiku, use name, spell name wrong, question God's plan, lose sleep over it. Judges. <laughs> so took that one. One to one. Trisha, you get to go first. Hmm, the man ain't happy unless he's got kids dying to keep freedom free. Oh, so. No woman should be constrained and to be made to stay the same. Judges. Hmm. Trisha took it. That's a good pair of haiku, though. So everybody gets to pick from their stack. I like how they flow together. So you get to go first, down two to one. This could be it. Except we have a battle royal later too, so people can come back and compete again. Mm -hmm. Roads in my head, nothing but dread. Keep on riding till I'm dead. Trisha? Mm. Getting distracted by all my distracting things in my own dojo. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Zoe took that one, two to two. Trisha, you get to go first. Whoever wins this one will move on further into the tournament. Ooh. Of eight, perhaps nine. The flag looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Unpopular opinions brought to you by me. Not my impulses I have conformed to. I will terminate your lust. Judges. Trisha took it, y'all. So Trisha advances. Y'all give it up for Zoe, though. All right. Coming up on the rainbow side. Thank you. Making their Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Slam debut. Y'all give it up for Gato. Coming up on the infinity side, y'all give it up for one of my favorite people, Dirt God. <laughs> so we're going to best of five, you get to go first. 
Judges, the right. flags on the ground, you can see he's rainbow, I'm infinity. Haiku slam tonight. Maybe I'll use my sharpie and a random scrap. Searching for polo gear and Marshall's clearance racks, something with color. <laughs> All right, got those up one nothing. I get to go first. Polo socks and dad Nikes, my fresh to deathness put on life support. <laughs> Illegal spray paint. Please don't arrest me tonight. I just wanted to. Judges. Alright, I took that one. One to one. You get to go first, Gato. No such thing as free. But it might seem like it is when they pay for you. Neighbors attacking the sky with high caliber out of state fireworks. Judges, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gato took that one up two to one. Oh, props, props. <laughs> that was incredible. So I get to go first, back against the wall, might get defeated. Scroll for dopamine at three in the morning like Addict in Alley. <laughs> I live with a man who's homeless in the city. Maybe I am too. <laughs> he took it. Y'all give it up for Gato. <laughs> I really like your haiku. <laughs> oh, good man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could not have been a judge. Yeah, that was a good pair. <laughs> but that's what I like about this. And everybody who wins moves deeper into the night and has to go deeper into their stack. All right. Coming up on the rainbow side. Let me set this back to zero. I love this person very much. And they know that. And those of y'all been here before have heard me say that. Every time I get to see them, it's a blessing. Y'all give it up for Alan. If you need a chair, we'll get you one, man. I'll bring it. One of my all-time favorite haiku slams was in Roto. And me and Alan did the death match. The death match is best of 19, so you go to 10. And we got to 9 to 9, and it was in a community center. And the whole thing was a benefit for the community center. And we got to 9 to 9 and looked at each other, and we was like, that's it, ain't it? And we gave each other a hug, and we tied. That was good tonight. That's one of my favorite high school awesome. moments. So I figured a good pairing with Alan would have to be Jason McDaniel coming up on the Infinity Center. <laughs> Alan, you get to go first. I just wrote this one while you were talking. Oh, wow. Old oversized shorts, likely to result in indecent exposure. <laughs> Jason? Living out my days, practicing radical love and ignoring norms. Judges? Alan goes up one to nothing. Jason, you get to go first. The patriarchy ain't just gonna fuck itself. We gotta get to work. <laughs> Alan? All are connected. One's privilege is another's oppression. Judges. All right, Jason took that one. Yeah, I gotta admit, y'all picked a rough night to judge so far. <laughs> Jason, or no, Alan, you go first. Tied up one to one. We're here for haiku. Let's also make space for silence, presence, and breath. Jason. The secret to life. Eat well, sleep well, have some sex, don't sweat the small stuff. Judges. Alan took that one up two to one. 
That was a good one. I like Jason. That was, that was well, I was going to say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you're down two to one. You get to go first. Uh, let's see. Pride flag in garage lets people know where I stand out in my gay garage. <laughs> <laughs> Alan? Head, feet, and even brain optional, but there's no haiku without heart. Judges. Alan took that one. Took it three to one, y'all. The crowd gave it up to Jason. The crowd moved home on it, by the way. No I can always explain the match. Alright, back to zero coming up this time. On the rainbow side, my partner. I wouldn't say better half, but another half. Sometimes one of us is better, but it seems to be lucky so far. One of us is always the better half when the other one is feeling stupid. So like it's been nice. Y'all give it up for Dolly. <laughs> Dolly will be taking on the esteemed new assistant professor of Appalachian literature at Marshall University. Y'all give it up for Dr. Paul. I always feel very bad for Paul because he teaches my books in his classes. And I'm like, Paul, what the hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> they will fire you one day for that. Dolly, you get to go first. Between my anxiety and the dogs, I never leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Paul? Cruelty of balding. Thick boar bristles surrounding wispy smooth metal. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Dolly's up one to nothing. We got a strong set of people tonight, though. Paul, you get to go first. Down one nothing. My classroom lectures, born of watching Baptist men in polyester. <laughs> Dolly? Indign <clears throat> excuse me. Indignities of being flesh, diaper rash cream under sweaty boobs. Judges? Dolly took that one. We got sweaty boob lovers in the house. <laughs> 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 down to nothing, you get to go first. Uh oh. Chaos ensues. Older I get, more oppressive sleeves, collars, hems, family traditions. Dolly? $800 is nothing when you don't have it. Make up money. Judges. And Dolly took it to clean sweep three to nothing. Y'all give it up for Paul though. If she don't show up by this time for the title match, I'm defending the orange bottle against you. Let's go. Best of 19. I didn't bring the bottle, but if you beat me, I'll bring it here next month and sign it over to you. <laughs> so our orange bottle, I didn't bring one, but we have a purple bottle and an orange bottle. And they're two different champions. We're eventually going to have a green bottle champion, too. Three champions, they do it like title belts, like in wrestling. So you will get it, you get to take it home, it's yours, and you defend it. So Harley is supposed to come because I wanted her to defend instead of me. But... We're going to keep moving. And if it gets to it, I'm going to do it. Because if I'm going to stand on this stage, i got to defend my stage. You know what I'm saying? Even though I did beat you last month. But I, I'll do it again. <laughs> All right, coming back up on the rainbow side, we're going to best of five again. Y'all give it up for Trisha. And on the infinity side, coming back up already in his first match. Slayed the Sensei. Y'all give it up for Gato. <laughs> Chris, you get to go first. Go on to three. All right. That's for you, doll. <laughs> Boys and Ivy itch from head to foot, but the tits, the tits are the worst. <laughs> Gato. Ash, ask this chaps on me. I know she loves this fine ass, so I don't wear them. 
Trisha, you get the first one, up one to nothing. You get to go first, Gato. Oh, hold up, hold up, wait. Before you go, I gotta ask you a question. How the hell are you gonna have Ashless Chaps and not wear them? <laughs> I, I, if I had Ashless Chaps, I'd be wearing my Ashless Chaps all so the time. I don't, so I don't wear them. I'd be wearing they they have to tear them off. Told the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get rough. I just no, it was stuck in my head. <laughs> go ahead, got the cold beer on a day. I have been working outside. Why charge me eight bucks? Trisha. Is Trisha shrinking? People say there should be more. Doctors disagree. Judges. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Gato took that one. One to one. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first. Doctors oh. be damned. <laughs> 95 traffic. The left lane domination by milk toast sedans. God, she looks like wine. I will drink the whole bottle and not drive after. Judges. Trisha took that one. Up two to one. Up two to one. Got to you down two to one. You get to go first. Fine line between it. Good and bad seafood. They have. Today it was good. <laughs> Trisha. <laughs> mm. Notes from my dad's death linger in the back of here. Last year beat my ass. Judges. Gato took that one, two to two, tie it up. Whoever wins this one will go to the final. Trisha, you get to go first. <clears throat> I'm praying for rain to cancel a scheduled gig, but don't think prayer works. <laughs> Gato? Angsty girl writes poem. She has septum piercing. This is great release. <laughs> That's for you, so. Judges. <laughs> Gato took it, y'all. All right. How many you got left, Gato? I'm about Florida. How many you think you got left? I, ha I have. I have enough. I mean, don't tell me. Y'all be doing best of 25. I, no, I can make a challenge I, I to can, me. I can go on the fly. I'd rather use the ones I have, but I can go on the fly if I run out. Okay. All right. Coming up on the rainbow side, y'all give it up for Alan. <laughs> So y'all see Alan wearing a shirt, protecting trans kids, Berkeley, who owns this joint, protecting trans kids. One thing I want to say, when we hear what we call each other, Southern Gothic Futurism, Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Slams, is we are cousins. And each time you come here, you're a different level of cousin. And the reason we say cousin, because it's not brother or sister, it's not gender, it's non-binary. And if y'all like me, you might have a cousin that you want to kill one day. Let's forget that. We're good cousins here. We get along here. So we're going to say cousin. I just want to point that out. And coming up on the infinity side, y'all give it up for Dolly. <laughs> so on the side, this is actually a pretty intriguing matchup. I like this. This is intriguing. I respect the hell out of both of y'all. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Alan, you get to go first. The moon rising invigorates crickets and bullfrogs and primal dreams. Dolly. Roosters I have named Jethro Bodine, Captain Dandy, Trace, Raven Mac. <laughs> Alan took the first one up one to nothing. Is that like me specifically? You got a rooster name raising that. You gonna take over judging? All right, Dolly, you get to go first. Down one to nothing. As a lazy power bottom, yes, please, fuck me while I just lay here. <laughs> the 
hottest day on earth. A curse our children, a curse on our children, we'll not live to see. Judges. Mm. All right, Dolly took down it, one to one. And see, that's another reason I love these things. You get a haiku about climate change and how we fucking up the earth, but then you also got a haiku about having some good sex. Because look, if we gonna fix everything, find a good sex one in time. Yeah, if we're gonna fix everything, we gotta have fun too, you know. We don't be trying to fix the world and all mad about it, like, well, goddamn, we gotta fix the world now. This sucks. No, you won't be feeling good about it, like, hell yeah, let's go have some sex and go fix the world. Alan, one to one, you get to go first. Regrets never journaled. Now realize seven years haiku tells a story. This relationship has survived two shitty trucks. Let's not get a third. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly took that one up two to one, and I'm afraid to tell Dolly, ain't no way I'm not going to have another shitty truck at some point in my life. <laughs> Alan, down two to one, you get to go first. Daydreamed I had you, carefree, you floated away, your voice an echo. Dolly. I haven't baptized myself in a river this year. Needs doing. Judges. <laughs> Alan took that one, two to two. Whoever wins this one will go into the final against Gato. Dolly, you get to go first. Mask sex during COVID isn't kink, just safety precautions. <laughs> I ain't afraid, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I wore a mask because I was afraid of getting COVID. <laughs> Pillow holds my head and memories of you asleep cuddled beside me. Judges. And that's going to go to Dolly. So Dolly's going to make it to the final. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do the final. How many you got left, Dolly? Um, let's say... Can we do best of... However do we get to five? Best five. Five, not best, best of nine. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. All right. So, right now, we're going to go ahead and head a final. Hold on. Harley is on the way from Short Pump, y'all. Oh. She going to make a dramatic entrance up in this motherfucker. <laughs> Dustin ain't never met Harley Saxon. Don't know what he's about to face in a best of 19. And I'm going to tell y'all, this nope. girl is a buzzsaw, y'all. Yep. So, hopefully, she gets here in time. <laughs> we're going to do a best of nine. Should we do the battle sure. roll yeah. next? next. Alright, let's do the battle roll next. Yeah. We will do it. Let me do the captain. <laughs> Alright, battle roll up next. Anybody who's got a haiku that wants to get into the battle roll, come back up. And whoever wins it is going to win ten dollars. <laughs> I know that don't sound like much, but I don't ever get paid in poetry. <laughs> Who we got? Jason, Tricia, Zoe, Dr. Paul, Raven. Anybody else? Anybody else want to step up in this bad boy? You want to do the battle roll? I reckon. I'm you can do it from there. Yeah. You good right there. Does it just take one? Yeah. Let's see. I got six people. You might need three. You do might it. need three. If you go all the way. All right. All right. You got it? And Wait, you, well, if I can find one on my Yes. You're Kathy, right? Yes. I'm going to put you at the bottom. Okay. And you give you time to find them. Okay. All right. So where the battle world works is each person reads one. Whoever loses sits down. I'm going to call on the rainbow side. Raven. Hey, what's up, y'all? And on the infinity side, Jason. Rainbow goes first. Kudzu reclaims road signs where the state gave up on maintaining order. If you can't find me, I'll be out in my hammock just power lounging. Power lounging. 
right, so I took that one, but I'm gonna say I definitely approve of that one. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Jason. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Rainbow side, Dr. Paul. You can sit down, man. You're eliminated. <laughs> Infinity side, Trisha. Paul? Shrink once asked me why I rub my own nose in scenes of brutality. Trisha? Went to the dentist, got my teeth in a jar now. I beat the system. <laughs> and Paul took it, but y'all give it up for Trisha. In case y'all don't know, Trisha and Jason are a couple. And I cannot imagine how hilarious that household is. <laughs> oh, and again, a lot of times when people got a lot of comedy, they're concealing a lot of other things. So I don't know, it might be a lot of crime going Ooh. on in the house. But... <laughs> Rainbow side, Zoe, representing the infinite side from his seat, Alan. Zoe, you get to go first. Usually I don't have much to say to a cop, but damn, she's hot. <laughs> Life-saving treatments dropped in a hole, can't crawl out, or dead in a week. Judges. Zoe took it. Thank you, Alan. That's why I was saying I love every time I get to see Alan. Can I talk about you? Uh, sure. This is your I'm show. not going to tell no specifics, uh, but I use a term sometimes called spirit warrior for people who are... When you hear about toxic masculinity all the time, you never hear about non-toxic masculinity, where when something has to be done, somebody steps up, and I don't mean it in a gendered way, but it's still a masculine way. You got to flex a little bit and do something in an emergent situation. And people who can do that, I call them spirit warriors. Alan is one of the biggest spirit warriors I've ever met in my life. And I love this person so deeply. All right. Rainbow side, Kathy. Infinity side, Raven. And now I'm going to ruin that fine moment by singing some dumbass haiku probably. <laughs> Kathy, you get to go first. Okay. We heard Sting today. I said, that's the police. That name didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> Going places where GPS gets lost, hiding from surveillance state. <laughs> Judges. Kathy moves on. Good job. <laughs> Rainbow side, Dr. Paul. Infinity side, Zoe. Thank God I lost. I ain't got to worry about picking up my damn haiku no more. Paul, get to go first. Flagpole shooting up from truck beds spike my heart rate. What rags flutter there? Zoe? I'm sorry your dumb bitch ex dumped you in a text. Judges. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet, Zoe wins it. <laughs> All right, that means our final the final the last two people left on stage is going to be Kathy oh. on the rainbow side and Zoe on the infinity side. And whoever wins the battle roll is going to walk away with $10. I win the smoke for a You get a third battle roll in a row? This would be Zoe. I ain't going to say that. He might, just, might poison the judges. <laughs> Kathy, you get to go first. Uh, okay, um... Ladybug warriors come to defend my garden. Gratitude to you. So. Espresso martinis, toddlers in tahini, Saturday evening. Judges. And that's going to go to Zoe. <laughs> Kathy, thank you for coming up. And as those told me right before that, this is the third battle royal they've competed in that they won in a row. I think somebody might be angling yeah. for a title match. Oh, thank you. Y'all give it up for Zoe. All right, now we're going to do the best of nine for tonight's Haiku Slam winning winner, 
winning of the winning thing, who wins. Winner shall receive twenty dollars. Loser shall receive fifteen. Going to best of nine, so first one to win five on the rainbow side, making their debut still, have scooted right through two rounds. Y'all give it up for Gato. Hey. On the infinity side, my partner who has scooted through two raggedy ass trucks. Y'all give it up for Dollar. come from white trash roots and you can't ever get away from it. The last truck I had is actually a good sign of that. Because I got a truck that had 22 inch rims, but I could never actually put them on the truck because it wouldn't get up my driveway. So I had these 22 inch rims leaned against the back of my house for like a year. Had a truck that she didn't like because she's so uptight just because you go into the dump and the, pass, the driver's side door come open while you're driving and you don't know how to shut it right so it stays shut, she like the truck ain't no good. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, you just got to pull it in Christmas and up a little shopping. bit and you're good to go. She did not like that truck from the moment I left it at her house a long time ago. But I finally sold it. Two. Oh, yeah. This is the magic. All right. <laughs> so I bought this truck from this uh, small town hipster guy in Lovingston, Virginia, who worked in a restaurant. He was kind of hipsterish. And I bought the truck because I was like, well, yeah, I got a truck, you know, with 22 inch rims. If I could ever put it on, it's got a subwoofer. So, like, even if it ain't running, I can go outside and sit in it and listen to a couple beats. <laughs> Finally had to sell it because I wasn't doing nothing with it. Put it on Facebook Marketplace. I don't even have a Facebook account except for to sell dumb shit every now and then because I hate Facebook. Put it on there, the first guy that messaged me actually used to own the truck. What? He actually owned it like eight years ago, lived not far from where I used to live, had to sell it because he was fighting for custody of his daughter. So he had to sell the truck. Ended up, I had other people offer more money. He didn't have as much money as other people did, but I said, man, you already know this truck. Used to be your truck. Just come on and get this truck. Sold him the truck. He came. Not only did he used to live near where I lived, he knew one of my best friend's parents' house, which was at the end of the road, which is the only place in Fluvanna County that I actually like to go anymore. <laughs> he knew them. We have mutual people. He had sold two vehicles, a car and a truck. His dad died from a heart attack, and he found him because they had a garage out there in Fluvanna County at the end of Shores Road. He found his dad after he had sold the car that his dad told him to never sell. He got that car back all because he didn't want his dad mad at him for the rest of eternity. Got the car back and then had been thinking about the truck. Man, I wish I had that truck too, you know. Oh, he got custody of his daughter. So his daughter lives with him and his second wife. He bought the truck and they came to get it. A wonderful dude, man, just a chill dude. And he got the truck back and he was so happy and he said, man, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. And I was like, damn, man, I got a lot of bills, so I can tell you how much I appreciate it, too. So it was a little magical moment. That's all. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he got the truck with the door that don't shut. I don't know how what his wife thinks about it. But I got his number, so I might go by there and see what's up. All right, Rainbow goes first. Gato, we going to five now. <clears throat> Cowboy boots been used. I don't want no Photoshop. I like some real curves. Dolly? When's the last time you mourned some object connecting you to who you were? Judges. Gato took the first one up one to nothing. Dolly, mm -hmm. you get to go first. What age did childhood innocence turn into hard, brittle, flinty eyes? Find my inner child inside of a cell phone app. What the fuck was he? Judges. Gato took that one up two to nothing. Dolly, you down two to nothing, going to five. Deaf dog can still hear thunderclaps, chicken bones, and cheese falling to the floor. <laughs> Gato? I have bad habits, like going to work on time when they don't pay me. Judges. Dolly took that one two to one. 
Got though, you get to go first, up two to one. I've been celibate. Told myself I should rethink. I need to work out. Dolly. Four years passed tomorrow. Mom died. Feeling reconnected with her. Judges. Dolly took down one, two to two. So, very early on in our relationship, not early, a couple years in, her mom died. So we had a country funeral. We actually dug the funeral on the land. So her brothers had hardly met me, and I got to help them dig a grave for their mom. So it kind of swore me into the family a little deeper than like you thought you would originally, but also her brothers are kind of hard-headed, so they would have still not accepted me if they didn't want to. Two to two. Old dirty bastard did his thing, and so will I. And Madonna did as well. <laughs> Dolly. <clears throat> Obsessively making art marks, piles of canvases, now up, unhung. Judges. Dolly took that one up three to two. Gato, down oh, three to two. You out? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I thought we it was going to five. Like the other one, so I was going to five. Nah, we going to five. <laughs> Richmond City is slightly chaotic and small, but I love that shit. Dolly. What age were you when you took your anger out and said, Thank you. No more. Judges. Gato took that one three to three. Dolly, get to go first. I wouldn't drive this out of the lot. Need tires. You're driving to Richmond. You can't go to this if you don't have the address. Why didn't you look? Judges. Dolly took that one up four to three. Almost to the finish line. Gato, you get to go first. Grandma, love your vibe. You remind me of cookies. I hope you live long. Dolly. Baking as soothing care during times of looming doom and disruption. Judges. Gato took that one. Four to four. <laughs> Whoever wins this one wins our open sign up haiku slam of tonight. Dolly, you get to go first. New Duck is bossing youngsters. Love to see her webbed anti ways. I smoke but not burn. What am I without my time? Embers keep me here. Judges? And Gato took it, y'all. Y'all give it up to Gato. You came in second, Dolly, so you won $15 and got to $20 for winning. Thank you. Y'all so much. I appreciate you. All right. <laughs> Shelf life again, right? ETA 819, and it's 817. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce our challenger coming up on this side who came and made his debut last month and is going to have to stand here uncomfortably with me because I guarantee <laughs> hardly saying 819 means like 824. <laughs> Dustin is a poet in Richmond who has done serious fine poetry and also we have mutual people in the Charlottesville way and made his debut in haiku last month in the Orange Bottle title tournament and almost won it in his debut night. Y'all give it up for Dustin. I'm going to stay here awkwardly for a little while while we see what's up with Dolly. I mean, not Dolly, Harley. <laughs> you know what? I should just call her. <laughs> put her on the speakerphone. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You there? You there? I'm I'm in deep. I'm I'm here. Where are you at? Wait, what do you mean? Am I there? I'm on the phone. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How far away are you? I got you a speech. 
speakerphone. <laughs> Turn it on to carry. You can go around back. You can go around behind it. Turn down Shepherd and go up the alley to your left. Oh, okay. She in that truck. Huh? Who are you driving? <laughs> Berkeley's gonna go out and find you. A Chrysler town and country. A Chrysler town and country. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we got you on speakerphone because we finished everything. We're about to do the death master. I was trying to. Put, Coordinating you for your dramatic entrance. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang up. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously, it's funny that Gato showed up because there used to be a coffee house in Richmond. I mean, Richmond, Charlottesville. We did these like 10 years ago, and there's a whole group of people that were like 13, 14 at the time that now are like young adults that do all types of crazy things. And Harley is one of them. So I've seen this young person, and I knew Harley from before then when she used to do open mics when she was like 11 and 12. And she's amazing. I love Harley so much. So y'all about to see a dynamo take on Dustin. And you never seen Harley. Woo, man. Woo, man. Oh, I just, yeah. it's, worth, it's worth the wait. We'll do this. It's worth the wait. We'll do this. One thing we do at Southern Gothic Futures Haiku Slams from time to time is called the Nature Boy Chat. Y'all know Ric Flair from Wrestling He Goes Woo? like everybody to go woo, but what you're going to do is, I'm going to count to three, and you're going to take a deep breath past you, like, tension in your chest, go on, swirl it around in your heart a little bit, get all your heart up in it, down into your gut, get your gut intuition, and all the things that are stressing you out, making you angry, or maybe making you happy. When we get to three, you're going to go woo, all right? One, two, three. Woo! Come on in here, Harley. Hi. <laughs> What you need to get ready? Nothing. See that? <laughs> my cousin right there. Come on up. It's time. Oh, oh it's, uh, it's time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't think I was just going to walk through the door and just be thrust into. That's a mess of confidence. I've been thrust. <laughs> I just got off work. Hi, everybody. Uh, that's a urinate, even. You need to? No, oh, that's all right. Go ahead. Oh. I'm going to talk about the bottle. Oh, okay, yeah. Talk, talk about the bottle and all your name. Right here. This is the purple <laughs> bottle. <laughs> this is the purple bottle championship. It says Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Slam Champion Purple. 18th of June last year is when Harley won this. So she has defended this bottle for a whole damn year already. Putting this on the line. Dustin wins. We're going to write his name on it. And he's going to go home with it. You get to keep it. I expect you to come defend it again, but I mean, you know. Oh, I will. <laughs> so we're going to go to 10. Dustin is going to go first when Harley comes out. Somebody else trying to come in, Berkeley. For those of y'all that arrived late, this is a haiku slam. Y'all come on in. Come on in. No, you ain't got to be shy. I ain't trying to call you out. I ain't that type of person. Just come on in and feel welcome. What? Welcome to my home. My name's Raven Mack, a.k.a. Dirt God, a.k.a. 1,000 Feathers, a.k.a. Not Red and Shepherd, a.k.a. Shakespeare Greenheart, a.k.a. That dude that feeds the crows every day morning at 10 a.m. and they call at him. If he don't, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you can look me up online, Dirt God, Raven Mack. You can find me in two or three places. You're probably going to find me some things. You're like, damn, what's wrong with this boy? You're going to find some other things. You'll be like, yeah, that's cool. That's the entirety of me. So we're going to do the final. This is best of 19. Those of y'all that came late, how it works is one person reads a haiku, other person reads a haiku. i got three judges that will hold up the appropriate flag. That person wins the round. Loser goes first next round. We go till somebody wins 10. You feel hyped up? You ready for this? What do you need? Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Hi. Hey. What's up? All right, okay. Dustin gets to go first. What? What did you say? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> None. That's a scary word to hear a young person say. What'd you do? None. Dustin, you get to go first. I've killed many things. The mood too often to count 800 houseplants. <laughs> Pardon. Well, let me ask y'all. Are you feeling depressed or are you feeling um, something more lighthearted? This is not the haiku. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You do what you need to do. I do what I need to do? Okay. <sighs> mm. 
Mom kicked sister out. Adult aged but unprepared. Parentified still. All right, Dustin took that one. Uh, you might want to text Rowan. <laughs> Farley, you get to go first. Adopted kitten, now endearingly nicknamed Ginger Satan Spawn. <laughs> Dustin. Arizona, if ocean wasn't there after sprinting across scorching sand. Judges. Arlie took that one, one to one. Dustin, you get to go first. We're going to ten, y'all. She saw Minnie die, our granny, the assassin, and she earned that right. <laughs> Parasitic soul leeches like onto spirit and suck, 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 fuck. Judges. <laughs> oh, Dustin took that one. Up two to one. Harley, you get to go first. Mass shootings daily, so much that school staff meetings turn to action plans. Dustin. My boyfriend's a helgermite, handsomest critter in the river muck. Judges. Dustin took that one. Three to one. Up three to one. Harley, you down three to one. That's fine. I was preparing to lose, so. No. <laughs> you can you do what you need to do. No. All right, here we go. Deadhead logic sucks! How am I expected to just keep trucking on? <laughs> Born in mud, married in mud, my name is mud, they'll bury me here too. Judges. Harley took that one. Down three to two, one to round. Dustin, you get to go first. So y'all see, when we go deeper, you gotta dig into the stack. I'm cheating, this one has a title. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, it's hold up, hold up, hold up. It's the only one, I promise. I don't have it, but I, that's a yellow card. <laughs> yellow card, no extra syllables, 17 or less. <laughs> You're really going to dislike it then. All right. Haiku with 18 syllables. I went to college, now I'm educated beyond my intelligence. <laughs> All right. 2020 tags. I owe Fluvanna several hundred dollars. Judge. Great. Cut me off. I'm gonna do it again. My bad. Uh, he took one extra syllable and I cut one off for you. Do it again. What'd you yell at him? 2020 tags. I owe Fluvanna hundreds of dollars. Pray. <laughs> Judges. All right, Dustin took that one. I feel partially complicit in that. Yeah, you did it. You, you messed me up. But fuck Fluvanna. <laughs> You get to go first, down four to two. Perpetual fear that my bandmates leave for more successful projects. <laughs> if lovers interlace their toes like fingers, is it cute or gross? <laughs> <laughs> Dustin took that one, five to two. Harley, you get to go first. My bandmates did leave. Now I'm pulling out of shows. Always trust your fears. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin. Cheating again. Anxiety cure. You look anxious. Hey, why are you so anxious? Do not be anxious. Judges. All right, Harley took that one. Five to three. Dustin is still up. Harley won that round. Dustin, get to go first. Dad said, don't become so dependable. It sucks all the joy from life. <laughs> Home videos from the golden years with no bed or toilet paper. Judges. And Dustin took that one up six to three. Harley, you get to go first. <laughs> From now on, solely pronouncing mental illness with an accent on the ill. <laughs> Dustin. My mother told me it's that cricket. Who did that? Who did the crickets? Sorry. Who, who done it? Somebody said crickets? Someone crickets to me. Who said crickets? Was no. it a real? It was a real crickets. Real crickets. Didn't like my jokes. Okay. Go ahead, Dustin. My mother told me it's that doodad beside the thingamajig. <laughs> Judges? Dustin took that one. Seven to three. And I know somebody ain't said crickets. Harley, down seven to three. Advice to mentees. 
Big breaks and fame are naive. Seek community. Mm-hmm. Dustin. For Christ's sake, worship yourself, and if we're lucky, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin took that one. Eight to three. Harley, you get to go first. Down eight to three. Posthumous release years after friend was murdered. Music uh, never dies. Dustin. Fire and brimstones just that new pizza place uh, with crap brews. <laughs> Harley took that one, eight to four. Dustin, you'll go first, up eight to four. But if I may interject, would you like to tell them who that last haiku was about and what just came out? Um, Tess Majors. It was a compilation of a lot of their voice memos that they had on their phone which they were fighting for when they were murdered. Um, and their family, along with the producers, spliced all of these <coughs> voice memos of unfinished pieces together to create cohesive songs. Uh, released it, had Rolling Stone magazine write an article telling their story. Uh, just a lot of really heavy, but also really wonderful songs that I never expected to hear. Tess was a young person who um, was from Charlottesville, Virginia and was a natural born artist. Um, you see some people who practice art and learn art and some people are natural born artists like Harley. And Tess was somebody else who was a natural born artist and, and they died in a murder in New York City when they went away to college. So this was some voice memos that they had that got released recently and it's meant a lot to people that knew Tess. So y'all look that up if you can, because Tess was a, an amazing person who was cut short far too soon. All right. Can we go on? Uh, you know what? Time for another Nature Boy check. <laughs> you got something to say? What, could you say their name again? Tess Majors. Tess Majors. We're going to do another Nature Boy check just to reset after that moment. Nature Boy check. Breathe down deep. Double up this time. Go deep. Go deep. One. Two, three. Woo! All right. Dustin, you get to go first up eight to four. We're going to ten. Who shall be the purple bottle champion at the end of the night? Dead buzzard said, burial is bad. My body is an offering. Mm-hmm. Harley. Trying to survive, but can't be expected to do this forever. Judges. Dustin took that one. I know, I'm, a, I mean, I'm glad I ain't judging. I mean, that, was, that was my highlight haiku of the night right there. Harley, you get to go first. Least from renewal time. Cosine is fam's cheating ex-wife. Won't return texts. <laughs> Dustin. Dead buzzard proclaimed our kind is only beautiful at a distance. Judges? And Dustin took it, y'all. Dustin took it. Before I do this, I dig in my pocket. How do you know? I've been waiting over a year to lose. (laughs) So you get Dustin gets $25 as the challenger, even though he won, he still only gets the $25. For winning, can I finish the dead buzzard ones? There's three more. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to tell you Thank what. You. I'm going to tell you what. All right, I'm going to hear that. Harley answer. gets 30 for winning. All right. Harley, Harley for winning. I mean, not winning, for being <laughs> champion. For being champion. Harley didn't win. So, I'm Harley just going to clarify. I'm going to clarify with all friendliness here. Normally, the rule is... Nobody reads anything extra at the end of the night, mm. ever. Because whenever you do a poetry slam, and I am not making a judgment of you or no. anybody in the room, there is always, well not always, about eight out of ten times, there is some white dude over the age of 50 <laughs> who has a poem that you absolutely have to hear. <laughs> and generally speaking, you don't have to hear it. 
So I am giving that preface before these haiku, Dustin. <laughs> Make up for it, I'll, de I'll donate the money back to the nonprofit. How about that? That's great. And you still got to live up now. <laughs> you can't buy Okay, it. okay. Yeah. It's three haikus. Three haikus. That's it. No be fine. Uh, Des <laughs> Dead buzzard begged, please let me see it soaring one last time. Dead buzzard said, the descending swirl of kin is heaven approaching. Dead buzzard said, cannibalism is communion, Christ's carry on. Christ's carry on. I like the alliteration. Was that all you can say? No, it was a few pieces. All pieces. Yeah. Will y'all give it up for Dustin? <laughs> Shake up my pasta pan. I'm walking in just doing it up and down. I'm tired, man. My pasta pan. Yeah. <laughs> And what's today? The seventh. Seven. 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 Oh, July. Oh, two, two, three. Thirty dollars. In this economy? Yeah, you get the ball. So you can take it home, put it on your shelf with all your other nice And we will let it dry for a minute. But that's what we'll go home with Dustin. What date did we say? I forgot. Uh, I think it's the third. What's the first Thursday in August? Let's see, 4, 11, 18, 25, 13. August 3rd. Thursday, August 3rd. We're coming back here 7 o'clock in the evening. We're going to have a guest coming from all the way. Where are they coming from? From Bethlehem, West Bank. So we got somebody coming from the West Bank doing a little visit to America next month. It's going to be part of the slam as a judge or something. Dustin, hopefully you're going to return to defend the bottle? Of course. Harley? Huh? You feel like challenging to try to get the bottle back next month? <laughs> Sure. It's up to you. You don't got to. I, I ain't gonna well, make you do nothing. Wait, let me like get in his face and shake my fist at him real quick. Come on up here. Come on. <laughs> Who got a camera? Next month, you. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have a rematch next month. Because Harley to... did come in late. Does it have to be for the bottle or can I just rematch for my dignity? <laughs> Is the too much pressure? Oh, Have I created a monster here? <laughs> Look, I had that bottle cool sitting bottle. on my lamp table in my apartment for over a year. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to... I love the bottle, but I want somebody else to take the bottle. Okay, all right. Dustin will defend next month against an as-yet-named competitor. You can follow me, Dirt Guy Raven Mac, on Instagram. I guess I'm on Twitter, but I hate Twitter. I'm on that blue sky, but I hate blue sky too. I hate social media. Instagram's the one I hate the least right now, but I hate it too. We'll try there. <laughs> and if I get around to it, I have a website, ravenmac.com, that I may finally update on. I've been saying that for four years, so don't count on it. But just find me. Find out who comes and when. Dustin will come back and defend this bottle that gets to live as all wonderful things do. In an old Timberland boot box. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank y'all for coming. There's a table in the back with my Z's and buttons and my brand new book. My brand new book on haiku. Look, I ain't trying to pat my own back. That's a damn good book. You can buy it for $10 straight from me tonight. But you can wait and come back after two days when you think about, you know what, they got Raven Mac. I like to see his book. And it's going to be $13.12 when you come back because that is the retail price that it's going to be here and that it is on Amazon. You got a three dollar discount and twelve cents for your boy tonight. So give me some gas money, y'all. Thirteen twelve is my lucky number. Fuck the police. <laughs> last woo, a last nature. Sure, one more woo on the way out. Make your boy check one time. Get out of here. Y'all have a good night. Have a blessed month. Have a lovely July. Hopefully they're not blowing up the sky next to you no more than anymore. One, two, three. Woo! Thank y'all. Salam. Back to the party. Good, man. Good. We do have Charlotte's too. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all.